Whoa. Okay, it really is superheated. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. One thing that's super important to mention is that this pack right now is in pre-alpha phase. But I was assured by one of the pack developers that most of the beginning content is finished. So be sure to smash like to keep the series going and subscribe so that you can find the channel again. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. All right, so today what we're gonna be working on is rubber and tar production so that we can progress in, uh, in expert mode. Uh, and maybe at the end, we'll do some explosion crafting with some compressed iron, uh, but we need to work our way towards that. The first machine that we need to make is gonna be from thermal series, the arboreal extractors. We're gonna make two of them and set them on both sides of the uh, of the tree that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go bougie and I'm gonna use a rainbow eucalyptus tree. Let me see. Rainbow. So here it is, the rainbow eucalyptus. When we grow it and we attach it to the sides, it'll produce latex for us. We're gonna go with that. Uh, let's see, we need eight of these andesite casings. We'll do that. Let's see, what else do we need? We need fluid pipes, fluid tanks, faucet. Okay, so stick and this. So let's make the faucets. All right, we need fluid pipes. I think we got some of them as quest rewards, right? We got copper casing. No pipes. All right, that's no problem. We can make them. And no fluid tanks either, huh? But we do have copper casings. Let's, okay, so let's go ahead and grab some copper ingots. I've been uh, crushing the honeycombs and turning them into chunks and then running them through the smeltery. So here we go. We got some copper. And let's check and see. We're also going to need some nuggets. All right, so fluid pipe, eat, and the fluid tank, we need glass. So let's grab some glass. And then we can also check the quest book in Create, because I believe there's an entire section of Create that requires this stuff, right? We need 16 pipes to unlock that part of the quest book. Let's see. Let's make another eight. That gives us the 16 for the quest, right? Fluid tanks. Okay, cool. Four of them. All right. Go with some glass. We can make the fluid tank. One and two. So we can make four for the quest. And then what are we missing? We're missing tree fertilizer. So bone meal, coral, and flowers. And I hope these guys will work. And oh yeah, I've been keeping the bone meal on me now. All right, and then we need coral. Did I ever pick up any coral? Doesn't look like it. Here we go, we can use silk touch. All right, so let's see, we need tree fertilizer. And now that we have coral, that works. We'll drop off the coral here as well. Coral, coral, coral. Cool, whole bunch of different coral. And the flowers did work, nice. All right, and we should be able to make both of the arboreal extractors now. Neat. Let's grab an emerald. We'll head to our resident homeboy here, weathered salesperson, which is taking damage from unknown, unknown sources. I don't know why. All right, let's go rainbow. Rainbow eucalyptus. I'm curious to see what this bad boy looks like. And where should we put him? It's kind of a special tree. Just grow them here. Right about there, huh? Yeah. Let's bone meal him. Let's see how big he gets. Oh, whoa! All right. the The wood looks awesome, and I was not expecting this bad boy to be so. What's the word? Phallic. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Cool, so we're going to attach these guys on the sides, and they should start. Let's see. I don't think these guys need power. Redstone control. Ignored. Yeah, 50. So it is generating latex now. Neat. Now we need these guys to uh, get up to a thousand to be able to bucket it. Either that, or we can put it straight into a machine. Should we do that? Should we pump it right into the fractioning still? Yeah, let's do that. This guy is complicated. Fluid cells. Looks like we need rubber to make this machine, so... Uh, I know there's another way we can get the tiny dry rubber with vines. So what I've been doing is I've been strategically placing vines everywhere. And of course placing one back. So that we can start collecting this stuff. And on some surfaces they grow better than others. Like on the side it didn't grow this much. Oh, I wonder if I attach it to the side, will it grow on glass? That would look kind of cool actually. The apiaries are slammed full, by the way. All I did was leave it uh, on AFK for one shift at work. And they're slammed. Oh cool, here's a bunch. Alright, I'm not exactly sure exactly how much we need. Again, this guy is getting kind of crazy. They, for some weird reason, these guys gravitate to uh, the sequenced fabricator, the assembly line here. They just love landing here. So many. They all just gather here. And then let's grab this guy. Oops, some of them didn't make it. 21. Wow. And we got one spawn egg. Nice. Alright, back to it. Grab this. Looks fine. Let's grow some of the gear as well. Now that the build is partially done. Adding vines to it just makes it look a little bit more dynamic. Vines on straw. Or on, what is it? Wheat barrel barrels. They look pretty cool. All right, and I think I gathered some uh, vines in between episodes too. Let's see, yeah. Vines, we got water buckets. We got a lag spike, that's nice. Let's go. All right, this is gonna be kind of annoying. All right, there we go. Grab another bucket of water. I'm gonna drop off the excess vines. We have 54 of the tiny dry rubber now, which gives us six dry rubber pieces. Let's see, blast furnace can turn them into plastic. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the mob imprisonment tool, the recipe has been changed. I wanted to make one of these guys, but now it requires a spawner core instead of a gas tier. And the spawner core has to be made in, uh, the thermonomatic processing plant, spawner core shell with experience, spawner core shell of spirit of calling. So we're gonna lightning craft Panya runes. Is holding us back. Dimensional shards come from the sawmill with the dimensional crystal matrix, which requires occultism. And I'm not sure uh, how to get all of these different crystals yet. I still have to learn that a little bit. But we have some dry rubber. I think. We can just, yeah, induction, okay, yeah, two makes two. So induction smelter with sulfur. Sulfur we've been getting from uh, running these coal chunks from the bees through the pulverizer. So we have enough of this stuff. So three and six, right? All right, we got an invisible trader. We have prismarine shards, which is, yeah, I don't need these anymore. It's a byproduct of diamond or emerald combs, beetroot, 
Silk Coral Block, Dianthus. Yeah, so we don't need this guy. And then let's get rid of him so he doesn't make noise all over the place. See you. Free leather, right? Okay, let me close the door. Alright. Yep, I was going to the induction smelter. Alright, the induction smelter has some blast brick ready. And, no, I need a induction smelter. There we go. So we can drop this in. Also, let me grab the resonant integral components and the reinforced integral components. These are quest rewards. Yeah, see, it's making us the rubber we need for the fractioning still. This guy needs four. Ah. So we're not going to be able to make it. We need via acht zwölf. We need 12 pieces of rubber uh, to be able to make the fractioning still. So what we'll do is we have six. That was a lot of vines. So vines is not really a good option to uh, to make the rubber. We're at 800. Okay. So that's almost uh, a bucket's worth. We're going to drop in a resonant integral in here and then reinforced in here. It increased the buffer, but now they should be also extracting way faster. Oh, I think you can also put bone meal in and it'll make it go faster. I think. All right, bucket, bucket. We have latex. Sweet. Double latex. Uh, and then latex as a fluid we can put into the fluid encapsulator that we already have, yeah. And then I really I really do hope it's less than 900 millibuckets. Because that's a, that's a lot. Let's grab some more sulfur. Because that'd be, that would be very expensive for right now. Uh, sulfur? Let's grab a stack. We already have the fluid encapsulator done uh, because I was testing out the construction paste. All right, let's go. Two buckets of latex. And let's see. Ouch, it is 900 a pop. That's expensive. So let's let them do their thing. Okay, cool. Eight, eight was the quest. I don't think we need anything more from Create. Let's check out Tech Tier 1, right? Yeah. There we go. And then they want us to make fluid cells. And then tar producing machines. We already have... No, we don't. The fractioning still is what I want to make. I also want to make the centrifug centrifugal separator. Or it's a turntable, also a fluid cell, so we need another fluid cell. That's very expensive. Some of these recipes have changed since the, the last update. Blaze burner will be able to make, no problem. So let's see if we can knock this stuff out. All right, so let's see if we can poke a hole in here real quick. Just stop that. The spawner will stop melting these dudes. So let's see, we need a blaze burner. And let's see if we can right click one of these guys. They're hiding. They know what's up. Yoink! Got him. Alright, and where's my other brick? There it is. Oop. Should put it back. Yeah, they can start melting again. Alright, with our full blaze burner, let's go ahead and make the flare stack fluid outlet. We need iron plates, that's what it was. I have a bunch of iron plates going through over here. There we go, let's grab these 27. Alright, we need a fluid outlet. We need the flare stack, which needs fluid pipe. 
a flare stack. What are we missing? Steel scaffolding. And now we need to make the fluid cells, which require fluid cell frames, which require glass panes and bronze. In bronze gears, okay. A lot of bronze gears. Let's grab some glass panes. A 24 glass panes. Let's see how many bronze gears I have already made. If I don't have enough, maybe I have bronze. I could run it through the multi servo press. Constantan, one bronze gear. Do I have any bronze though? I don't. All right, we got eight bronze gears. So let's go. We're going to make three of the. Yeah. The fluid cell frames. There we go. We got three. Do we need four? I think we need four. For the other machine as well. And what are we missing? Just the fluid cells. Now we need redstone servos, which I'll make those out of lead. Five. And let's go. Ten. There we go. And what are we missing? Okay, we're missing hardened glass. Okay, so that is going to be... Wow. Okay, nether quartz, obsidian, and sand in the induction smelter. The induction smelter really is a machine that is required for almost everything in this in this pack. An expert level pack. All right, let's see. We got nether quartz... How much obsidian do I have? I have some obsidian. I'm going to have to bay in mind some later. Obsidian and sand. Alright. We can do this too. Alright. In the induction smelter. Quartz. Sand. And obsidian. We'll go ahead and we'll make some hardened. We're gonna need four pieces. So we don't need this much, but I'll go ahead and stack these. These are wither proof, so we'll be uh, I'd be able to make a wither cage out of the extra stuff, and then we can mine it back up and use it in recipes. So we only need four for right now. And let's see, we need got two of them and now we need four more pieces of uh of latex let's see what we got how are the machines after about 10 minutes seven thousand nice five thousand so yeah there's a there's a big difference between the reinforced and the resonant and also the bone meal is working because the number is going down okay so we can make the other two fluid cells, and now we should be able to make the fractioning still. There we go. Tar producing machine. All right, so let's see. The fractioning still also, so we can use it to make tar from uh, heavy oil, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it for the latex straight to dry rubber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy here. And then we're power source. We're going to use a sterling dynamo. Of course it did that. So not shift click, just right click. Now I'm going to have to shift click. Do have the wrench, right? There we go. And let's see, do I have any coal on me? Obsidian. No. Bing, bing. All right, we'll give this guy some power. And it will generate some power in the fractioning still. Oh, and let's see, we need to set up config. So let's do auto input. And we'll go to the this side and behind it, right? Yeah, in front and behind. What we'll do is we'll just do all of them, right? There we go. And now it's making dry rubber. And we'll just let this guy run here to make our uh, our dry rubber for right now. Neat. 
And I do really like this tree. This is a pretty, pretty pimped out tree. So we're good on rubber. The next thing I wanted to work on was going to be tar. We need to produce tar. And uh, for that, I'm going to use the centrifugal separator. All right, so we need constantan gears. Let's see, we should have some constantan. Yep. We need redstone servos. We need gold rod. And some of this stuff. Let's see. The fractioning still. Flux coil. What are we missing? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me not make the same item twice. We need the centrifugal separator. A block of lead. Turntable. Iron. Brass. Cable. All right, so copper wire. We can make copper wire in the multi-servo press with a metal press mold wire. We can either go the difficult route with the engineer's workbench, which is three. We can make them out of one steel plate. Let's do that. So we have the wire cutters, right? Yeah. And then let's go ahead and make... No, not out of iron. We need steel. Did I use all of the steel already? Item. Where's my steel? Two pieces of steel. We'll take this with us as well. There we go. Any forged steel. So let's come over here. Oh, and I guess instead of using a... No, it has to be a steel ingot, right? It has to be steel wire, yeah. So we'll make one steel wire, and then the steel ingots will have to run through the uh, multi-servo press. So let's see, one, two, three. So we'll take the steel plates and one steel wire, and this should be able to make us the mold. Yep, there we go. Now we have the mold. So let's go ahead and make some plates real quick out of the steel. And then we can uh, turn it right back around and make the copper uh, wires that we need. Stick. Eight. One. Turntable. We need one brass casing. We should have one brass casing. Over here. We'll grab a brass casing. Yep, we got 11 quest rewards came in clutch. Let's go. Turntable. Block of lead. We need aluminum rods. One, two, three, four rods. Let's go ahead and make two of these dudes. Okay, good, they stack. And we need to make one of these dudes. Sweet. Yoink. And now we should be able to make this guy after we grab a block of lead. Do we have lead in here? We do. And let's see, it might require to be chiseled, huh? Nah. So we have the centrifugal separator now. And this bad boy is the one that I wanted to use to uh, start getting our tar. Let's see, which, where should we hook it up? Hmm. So we'll put the centrifugal separator here. And then what I wanted to do was the byproduct to the coal bees. Uh, it gives you the coal chunks and then also the bitumen chunks. So let's check that out real quick. The coal chunks, we have bitumen chunks here. And then I also used silk touch from the slime steel pick up, pickaxe to be able to pick up the bitumen chunks. Like when you mine it with uh, silk touch, it turns into these chunks. Same thing that you get when you use the manual uh, hand crank centrifuge on the honeycombs. Let's toss these in here real quick, bitumen. <laughs> cool. The actual progress bar is black. Yeah. So we're making crude oil, but mainly we're making the tar that we need now. So we're producing rubber now, as well as tar. That's pretty awesome.
All right, so for this, it's two for two for two. Steel, tar, and obsidian. TNT. All right, TNT. Let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and grab all of our bitumen and see if we can mass produce this real quick. All right, so now it's nighttime. <laughs> Now it's nighttime, so I can sleep. All right, the whole reason why I was gathering materials is because uh, it was raining during the day, which you can't skip unless it's the night. And I was getting the stuff required for the Ritual of Moonlight, which forces the day to turn into night. So since I have everything I need. Let's go ahead and uh, and do it once anyways. So we need two soul shards. We need a snowball and we need the spider eye. All right, so soul shard, soul shard, snowball, spider eye, and black dye. All right, so next time it's raining during the day, I can do this. Does the flint and bronze not work? Whoops. Depth perception. So the flint and bronze doesn't work. Regular flint and steel. We'll do that. It'll absorb the items. And it will accelerate the day. All the way to night. And then we could sleep to make the grain go away. <laughs> but I'll remember that for next time. Next time it's raining during the day, I'll do the uh, I'll do the ritual to accelerate everything. What we have now is an entire stack of steel, an entire stack of tar, an entire stack of obsidian. So what I'm going to do is uh, put down our TNT. And let's see. I've never done explosion crafting before. So I'm hoping that this is close enough together. Boom. Whoa. Okay, it really is superheated. Um, I'm on fire. Where is my nearest water source? I didn't know that these dudes were actually going to be on fire. I thought that was just... <laughs> I thought that was just like a, a detailed explanation. I tossed them in water. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Alright, so we need to put these in the multi-servo press with the metal press mo mold packing first. <laughs> Alright before we toss them in water, so. They're still soup. No, yeah, they, they'll, they'll still light me on fire. I'll put them in my, let's see, maybe it'll stop if they're in my backpack. Yeah, it'll, it won't burn me if, it, if it's in my backpack. I need to make the metal press mold. I should have done that first. So let's see, do we have Ingar, Invar? And do we have Constantan? Yeah, and I think we need just one Plank. And we can make the mold for the unpacking. Or for the packing, actually. I already have the mold for the unpacking. That's what we used to get nether wart from the nether, nether wart blocks. So multi servo. Packing 2x2. Two two. Superheated. I'm on fire. Just as long as it doesn't spread, right? There we go. All right, hot compressed iron. Cool. All right. In the hot compressed, we all we have to do is douse our salts in water. Yep. And it turns it into compressed iron. Cool. So we got credit in the quest book. That's what was important. Let's see, we can drive. Jungle Sapling, Acacia. 
Expanded tank construction. Neat. For the thermal series. Hardened glass. Alright. 4,000. Nice. So that quest reward, expanded tank, bumped us up from 4,000 to 16,000 in the fractioning still. We're out of power. Cool. So eight pieces of coal got us 41 dry rubber. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. And what we did just learn on stream with Rid, one of the developers, came to chat. We found out that we can use this bitumen as uh, a burning material. It works just like coal, so we can use the bitumen in our sterling dynamos. Oops. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.